my fellow Malawians, the United Nations set aside 10th of December each year as the Human Rights Day. Therefore, Malawi, together with all members of the United Nations, do celebrate this day in observance of human rights. This year's theme is uh, celebrate human rights, recognizing the work of governments, human rights advocates, and the media. All of the above have critical roles to play in ensuring human rights observance in our country. My fellow Malawians, Malawi is a signatory to a large number of international conventions, instruments, charters, covenants, and protocols on human and people's rights, which our government has consistently upheld. Our country, Malawi, has been classified as one of the most peaceful countries in sub-Saharan Africa. This is partly because of our human rights record. To illustrate this point, the people of Malawi are reminded of the following facts, which can be verified. One, since 2004, there are no political prisoners or prisoners of conscience in Malawi jails. Two, since 2004, there have been no political assassinations in this country. Three, since 2004, there have been no death sentences carried out even on criminals that were convicted of murder. In other words, we have waived the death sentences or capital punishment. Number four, since 2004, several cases on treason and sedition have been withdrawn unconditionally by this government. Number five, the gay couple that had been sentenced to 14 years imprisonment were forgiven and released. In fact, one of them has married a normal wife, a woman. Six, during the recent street demonstration, no one was harassed or jailed on account of exercising their rights to demonstrate. Seven, the four lecturers at the University of Malawi who had been dismissed from their jobs were reinstated unconditionally. Eight, a high-level commission of inquiry has been established to inquire into the causes of the riots looting, arson, and deaths that occurred on July 20 and 21st. We have invited the United Nations, the African Union, and the SADC secretaries to send experts to join this commission. Nine, we have instituted the Presidential Contract and Dialogue Group to engage in constructive discussion with the civil society organizations so that we can agree as a nation on a common way forward. Ten, we have established a high-level commission of inquiry to review the working conditions and relations at the university of Malawi, Chancellor College, 
and also to promote a common definition of academic freedom so that in future we can settle all our disputes within agreed rules of engagement. My fellow Malawians, all these actions have been made possi possible and have been taken as a concrete expression of the adherence to human rights in our country by this government. It is therefore puzzling to hear pronouncements alleging that there is gross violation of human rights in Malawi. On what basis, on what premises are such allegations made? I want to take this opportunity to reaffirm that I and my government will continue to observe human rights and the rule of law in our country. In that regard, the human rights advocates in our country are not enemies of government, but partners in progress. Together, we have the mandate to preserve our national integrity. Together, we have the obligations to develop our country. Together, we have the obligation to protect and defend our national sovereignty. The preservation of human rights depends on our common understanding of the interaction of these elements in building the nation we want. Human rights, my fellow Malawians, go hand in hand together with responsibilities. I want to appeal to all human rights advocates to recognize that while they are asserting their rights, they must also ensure that every citizen of Malawi, including the president, the state president, is guaranteed human rights. And therefore, we should not suppress the rights of other people while we are advocating the adherence for our own rights. Let us all of us, as Malawians, be the advocates and guarantors of human rights. Let us continue to engage one another in constructive dialogue to design, implement, and monitor homegrown policies and solutions, as well as structures for promoting the prosperity of our nation. We have a brilliant future for our nation. And together, if we work together, we can realize a future that is worth bequeathing to our children, our children's children, and our great-grandchildren. We, once again, would like to affirm or reaffirm that we will ensure that human rights are recognized, defended, and protected in this country. God bless our nation of Malawi. I thank you.